Sorry. Okay, uh, I'd like to welcome everyone. I'm Andres Horvath from the Barangolo Public Association. I'm one of the founding members of the association. Uh, I'd like to start with the introduction of uh, our association before the EVR, e EWWR. We had an environmentalist program, which was called The Square is Ours. It uh, started in 2008, and the 7th of April. It first we started with some landscaping action. So we went to the surrounding forest and uh, to the surrounding river and collected the uh, illegal waste was, which was left there. Uh, planted a lot of trees. In the last 10 years, we planted I think about. Two, one or two thousand trees around Vegachaza, the village where the actions took place, and uh, some of our activists are made uh, public tables and benches, and we put it there. So, for example, if someone gone there fishing or just walking, they could uh, sit down and relax a bit and watch the nature. nature. Um, we made some exhibitions. <clears throat> it was uh, mostly children drawings and uh, photos from the um, view of the environment. Uh, we had some presentations. It was about environment pro pro protection, waste reduce, and other things. Um, and we made a competition for children. We do it every year. It's called the uh, Earth Day uh, Adventure Tour. And uh, they like it very much. There are stations where they, they have to do uh, funny and playful exercises, mostly about nature or um, environmental friendly life. And uh, here on the left um, down on the left you can see a picture we all, always in every year is the end of the adventure tour we collecting uh, pet bottles and uh, they uh, they push their of it so we can collect it and they like it very much it's very funny <laughs> but here then it's really enjoyable um and uh, Last year, our association joined the European Week for Waste Reduction. Our program was the Zero Waste Waste Reduction Week at the, at our community house. Uh, here's the flyer of the event, and uh, I will show you the program points. On the wall week, there were an exhibition. Uh, it's called Zero Waste from a Child point, Child's Point of you. It was the uh, children's uh, drawings and other art products, and it was the 10th step of Zero Waste illustrated by them. After it, uh, we made uh, some creative act activity for the children. They made a van, for example, from Via Cartoon, and on the next slide you can see they they made recycled paper. We just put the paper and uh, made in in the you can see here there's the Vegachazi papier jar Vegachazi um papier um, papier uh, paper factory and they made the uh, papers like this and decorated it just to show them how they can recycle things like paper bottles and other stuff and um <coughs> the um, my mother is more, um, it's the leader of the association. She is uh, very, she likes origami and she talks them how to forward uh, nice pictures from the packet. And the next slide is um, on the war waste reduction week, 
we collected the electronic waste. It's it was really important because uh, our village is re is small and there's not much there isn't much opportunity to collect the the special waste like electronic waste and people usually just throw it away somewhere in the nature. So we every year we organize an event like this that we collect it and um, <clears throat> and uh, we take care of the um, take away of the electronic waste too. Uh, we had a public assembly. There were the leaders of the local organizations and institutions, like the local uh, government, the school, and uh, for example, the, uh, the local uh, representative of the Red Cross organization. And uh, at the last day, we made a board table with the uh, children from Pet Bustles, and we put it out, filled with uh, crops, and <clears throat> it was a present for the birds. And uh, I'd like to uh, take the opportunity to thank you for the EWWR award in our category, because uh, for uh, as little organization as ours, it's really, really, a, it makes a word if we get a, a word like this. And after the award, we had presentation for the representatives and uh, for the children too, who took part in the program, in the War Waste Electing Week. And uh, we had a celebration with cake, and uh, games for the children who took part. And I think it's over, and I'd like to congratulate all of the other winners of the EWWR Week Award. Thank you very much. I think that's all. Thank you very much, Andres. Uh, so now it's time for the questions. Um, Is there any question? You can check your chat section in case mm -hmm. they write to you directly. Okay. I don't see any question. Ah, uh, how do you recycle paper and how do you handle the collection of V, E, E, E? Uh, the paper recycling is it's quite a simple process. It's not the industrial recycling. It's we just uh, collect the paper waste, um, put it in uh, water, and uh, it's uh, something like a um, pressure technique. There's a, I don't know the exact name. A moment, please. Yes, we um, we push it through on a sleeve, sleeve, sleeve uh, with pressure, and if you let it uh, dry, then it will um, it will be. I show you the slide. We are about look like da, da, da. Sorry. it will we look like this it's a bit uh, it's not uh, perfect for uh, for writing a paper or something like that, but for decoration purpose purposes this and um and just to show how can it be remade it's really good procedure. Uh, I just don't uh, understand the collection of V. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, uh, we just um, inform the um, local people that it will be had, and uh, in, there is uh, um, 
informed them they take it. It was held a war week, so they could take uh, it to the um, to the um, community house anytime. We collected it, put it together, uh, called a waste removal company, company and uh, they took it. Okay, there's another. What is the population in the village where these activities took place? It's about um, a bit more than a thousand. Or is I think a thousand and one hundred maybe about. Okay. What kind of exercises the kids had to do in addition to the Earth Day contest? Could you give an example? Um, there are some simple. For example, there were a puzzle. They have to put it together. Or um, there was, um, we call it that um, swamp walking. When, when you take a brick and you have to put it before yourself and you can only step on it then uh, they had to make a poster before the competition about um, environmental friendly life uh, what else who the there was mostly um agility exercises or uh, exercises that make them think so it it was some kind of uh, educational exercises. Um, anything else? Uh, our parents strongly involved in the activities. Uh, we try to involve them strongly, but um, there are some parents who helps a lot, but really, really a lot. Um, for example, they take part in a, a every program and um, helps us a lot in a lot of things. For example, take the um, <coughs> the equipment to plant trees and lend them to us, or come with us and do everything together. But uh, there are other students, who, parents who just. Uh, don't get the war picture. They just um, <laughs> they just take their child and left there because they don't have to take care of him or her in this way. So it's a bit hard because uh, a lot of people in a Vegas just don't get don't understand why we are doing this and why is this important. Uh, I think it's much harder to deal deal with the uh, parents and the other words than the children.